This video will guide you through the recommended installation steps for Tremco Tough and Dry Basement Waterproofing System. The Tough and Dry membrane should be stored indoors off the floor at an ambient temperature above 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius. Open drums should be slightly sealed before storage to avoid a skin developing on top of the liquid. When shipping emulsion-based products during the winter months, contact your Tremco technical representative. At the beginning of every job, it is very important to have all the tools necessary for a successful and efficient installation. You will need gloves, respirators, chemical glasses, airless sprayer, spray gun with proper 535 tip, a caulking gun, Dymonic 100, stainless steel spatula, tough and dry fluid applied single component membrane, warm and dry installation board. Before applying the membrane, make sure that the block, parge block, poured concrete or precast concrete are clean, smooth, firm, free from dust, mud, ice, snow, loose mortar, wires, fins, metal projections, wall tides, or any other substance which might prevent placement and bonding of a continuous film. Take particular care to ensure that the footing or cover area are clean. On poor concrete walls, remove wall ties on the outside and the inside of the wall. This must be done prior to the application of tough and dry membrane. Patch tire holes with a 10 to 15 mil wet coating of tough and dry membrane. Honeycombs or voids in the wall must be patched with Dymonic 100. Tough and dry membrane may be applied to damp or green concrete. However, the product must not be applied over standing water, a water film, ice, frost, or snow. To waterproof penetrations, the voids around the penetration must be filled with Dymonic 100. The penetration area must then be sealed with an additional coating of tough and dry membrane. Once your basement is fully prepared for system installation, prepare for membrane application. Tough and dry membrane can be applied to surfaces using standard application procedures down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 7 degrees Celsius. When spraying below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius ambient temperature, it is highly recommended to have your equipment and material enclosed in a heated compartment. The membrane should be applied to a minimum thickness of 60 mils wet, measured in place on the wall with a notch film gauge. Pay attention during the application process to ensure a consistent homogeneous membrane. For best results, apply tough and dry membrane using a two coat technique, utilizing a tack coat on an entire wall and a second coat to build up the required wet mill thickness. An applicator may choose to spray the tough and dry membrane in one coat. This type of application must be carefully completed to ensure no thin spots. Inspect the sprayed wall thoroughly for pinholing, voids, or thin spots. Lightly respray any areas requiring additional mileage to the correct thickness for the substrate. Once the membrane is applied, attaching the warm and dry insulation board at the correct time is essential to ensure good adhesion to the tough and dry membrane. The board must be set as the membrane begins to cure. The proper timing for this will vary. To install the board, place the bottom of the board on the footing at the footing of the wall joint and press firmly. Slowly work your way up to the top of the board carefully pressing the board onto the membrane. Take special care not to slide the board. The board may appear to be loose, but as the membrane cures, it will draw the board in, resulting in an excellent adhesion between the board and the membrane. If the board falls off, check the integrity of the membrane and respray to 60 mils wet if needed. It may be necessary to spray a mist of tough and dry membrane on the wall to increase adhesion. Place the board around the foundation in the same direction as the membrane was applied. All boards should be checked before leaving the job site. When the warm and dry installation board is applied, the foundation can be backfilled in 24 hours. It may take longer during some weather conditions for the tough and dry membrane to cure. And the foundation should not be backfilled until the membrane is fully cured. When installing 4x4 boards, install the bottom board first, then immediately place the top board. This prevents any excess tough and dry membrane from running down and onto the top edge of the bottom board. For complete application instructions, visit our website at trimcosealants.com. If you have any specific questions, 
please contact your local Trimco sales or technical representative.